I've told you before, there was a time in my life that I wept and wept and wept. And I said, God, this is not your promise for my life. I told you before, for those who have been here long enough, I went to the, to the shopping mall. I came out, and I couldn't start the car. I was just crying. God, why me? Why? Why, why me? I was just crying. And I said, Lord, but this is not what you told me. This is not your promise. And for those of you who remember that testimony, I told you that a few weeks before that the Jew visited Dallas, and he said we should, go to, we should all come with him to the new auditorium in Dallas. We're about to build a new facility, auditorium, like camp. We're about to build a new camp, a camp in, in Dallas. And he said, it was still bush. So we went there to cut, you know, just clear the bushes. And then a few of us that were with him, he said, I want you to do something. Empty your pocket. Every money that you have on you, empty it and put it. I want to pray for you. Ah, I say, what a mistake. If I knew, I would not have left home. I'm telling you your real life story. I said, what a mistake. But somehow, I summoned the courage to empty my pocket. Just in faith. All of it. All. And then, a few weeks later, my life turned around. My life went into reverse thereafter. And I said, but God, this is not, this is not, your covenant. My life cannot be this bad, God. Even when I just obeyed you. I remember I went to church that period, and like I told you, and people were giving testimony. And right where I was, in my heart, I said, what is, what is making them to be happy? That's when I knew that the Bible is true. That God can hear what you are saying in your heart. God replied me to in my heart. He said, my son, has it become this bad for you? That you cannot even rejoice with those that are rich. I had it myself. God didn't want to make me cry. God wanted to make me a living testimony. And that's what you see today. 